You know those girls in the club? They have great bodies. And what about your roommate, Steph? Now that's a perfect body. Why don't you lose weight so you can look like her? A couple of years ago, I met this cute guy while I was writing in my local coffee shop. The second he walked in, my attention went right to him. And I was so smitten. He looked over at me and I instantly broke eye contact. I, I couldn't help it. He was so darn cute. I ducked my head below my computer screen, peeping to get a glimpse of him and his chocolate brown hair. You see, I'm a writer, and so my imagination really runs wild. And boy, did I already envision all sorts of things between him and I. He was just so cute that I couldn't let him walk by. So I gathered up the courage to speak to him. Hi, I'm Anna. I introduced myself. He greeted me back and told me his name. He told me that he was new in town and was looking for new friends. Oh, really? I'm quite a little hermit, but I'd be happy to show you around, I said, trying to hide the excitement in my voice. We got into a very nice conversation and even went out for a walk together. We had so much in common and I told him all about the short story that I had been working on. We hit it off right away and exchanged numbers. After that day, we spent a lot of time together and got to know each other a lot better. He would always come over to my place and I even introduced him to my roommate, Steph. We always had a blast hanging out as a trio. I really enjoyed his company and always imagined how nice it'd be if he were my boyfriend. And alas, one night the three of us were hanging out watching Avengers together before he finally popped the question. I was so thrilled. Unfortunately, he lived across town, so it was really difficult for us to find time to hang out. He also had a lot of friends that he often went out with, so it was really hard for him to find time to balance everyone out. It always bothered me, but I didn't want to say anything because when we would hang out, he would always shower me with love and little gifts to make up for it. I thought everything was going great until he started to go out a lot and see those beautiful skinny girls everywhere. I feel like that's when his words and his comments about appearances got a little too harsh. One day, out of nowhere, he started telling me about the girls he saw in the club. You know, those girls in the club, they have great bodies. And what about your roommate Steph? Now that is a perfect body. Why don't you lose weight so you can look like her? After that day, he kept telling me that he didn't like chubby girls and that he wasn't physically attracted to me anymore. I didn't know what to think or feel. One moment he'd be so affectionate and then swing to be really cold the next. I kept questioning myself, thinking, does he really love me? Is he gonna break up with me because I'm too fat for his liking? I was so confused. So I told him that I tried my best to lose weight and to look better. But because he kept saying all these harsh comments, I couldn't help but get upset. Not to mention, I felt so weird being around my roommate. I finally broke when he came over to my apartment one day. We all sat around the kitchen table just chatting before I caught him looking at my roommate up and down while she put away dishes. What the heck? He just looked her up and down right in front of me. I tried not to break down right there and then, but I held it together. After that day, I started hating myself and the way I looked. I began comparing myself to her constantly, asking her what she ate that day, dressing the same, doing my hair the same, anything so I could keep up. I thought that if I looked like her, then maybe he'd love me more. I did everything I could so I could fit into his definition of beauty. But I was struggling. I ate a lot less, exercised a lot more, but my weight didn't seem to go down. And while I was miserable dealing with all of this, I could hear from our friends about him being flirty with other girls and it made me feel so insecure. Everything that happened made me extremely stressed. I knew that I had to do something to make it better between us. 
He barely had time to see me on top of living so far from me and attending his college classes that I decided we needed to spice our love life a little. I needed to get him to become more attracted to me than those skinny girls. I was desperate. So I shopped online and picked out a naughty outfit. I thought that spicing up our love life could create some thrill in our relationship. Hmm. How about that nurse outfit? That should do the trick. I waited for a day when my roommate wasn't home and invited him over. I had lit the room with candles and delicious scents to set the mood. I knew this would make him happy. I laid on the sofa waiting for him and the second he walked in, he looked completely shocked and not the good kind. He stared at me and laughed and my heart sank. Oh wow, <laughs> I didn't expect this. You kind of look like the nurses you see at foster homes. <laughs> I lay there speechless at first. I felt so humiliated and worthless in my outfit. I couldn't take it anymore and so we got into a huge fight. In the end, he walked out of my apartment and he refused to talk to me again. Somehow, I was the unreasonable one. He blocked me on everything. I missed him so much and I asked Steph if she could talk to him for me because she was friends with him on social media. I don't understand. I tried everything to make it work, to push our relationship forward. Didn't he see it? Wouldn't he know that I have to cry myself to sleep every night? We then broke up a couple of days later. I was terribly sad and lonely. I didn't feel like myself for a long time after everything that happened. At this moment, I was starting to lose some weight, hoping he would come back to me because I was looking skinnier, but he didn't. A while after our breakup, I finally felt better and came to realize that he never loved me for who I am at all. Instead, he loved me for who he wanted me to be. The situation got me thinking. Why was I giving my love to someone who wasn't going to appreciate it? Why would I change myself to be someone else that is the opposite of who I am for someone? It had been a while since the breakup and I can now confidently say that I am finally happy being me and making a better change for myself. I spent time working on my writing and even finished my own novel. I stopped comparing myself to other women and I learned to love my body for the way that it is. Voluptuous and beautiful. I'll never let someone make me feel that way again because change should not be for anyone else but yourself. You are the boss of your own happiness.